Hello everyone, this is I. Today I'd like to show you this design here and this one is called Buddies Bracelet. Okay, it's not a Buddies Braid but it's a Buddies Bracelet and I'm really excited about this bracelet here and um, yeah, I've got a really good response on Instagram when I posted this bracelet less than 24 hours ago and I would like to show you how to make it and before I show you how to make it, I would like to mention a few people um, to credit them for the design. Now, I would like to first mention Lumi Mama on Instagram for her fishtail fish border inspiration, okay? And this is no longer a fishtail border. This is um, my kinship border with three bands. Instead of um, the two bands pick up um, from Lumi Mama, this is her inspiration to me and I am very grateful that I have someone um, so amazing that could inspire me to make something so beautiful. Thank you Lumi Mama. And, um, and I would like to also credit the inside bit of this design to um, two Lumas. Um, one is Suzanne HB for um, her first um, design tapestry that with the lifting stitched of that movement like this lifting movement and for um, the shape of the inside bit is I also like to credit Claire's wear for her comfortable design so they are the similar pattern they're pretty much the same pattern but pull up really tight okay so if you squint a little bit you will see Lumi Mama's design fishtail border design in this one and <laughs> yeah so it's really interesting when we loom where we have um we can see so many design blended together and this is one of those design okay and thank you for inspiring me to make bracelet and I call this buddies bracelet because friends on Instagram really inspire me to make design and I am really grateful for all of your support and thank you Suzanne HB for sending me some bands and I got all these beautiful bands today and I'm so excited yeah I'm just I am having such a good day it's so exciting and I'm so happy and with the response from this bracelet today I am just overwhelmed with happiness so now I'm going to show you how to make it okay it would just look like this one here so I'm going to use black and white for the outer border and then blue on the side inside here okay and let's get started we are gonna make this bracelet now we are gonna start off well I'm gonna start off with a black the reason I'm using two color for the border is because the border bands are quite tricky to tell which one is which if you made the kinship already you will understand um, what I mean and if you haven't you'll see very soon so you basically loop a cap band over a band and then do your fishtail border design looping second color through fishtail border making sure you're picking up the first band instead of your fish uh, instead of your cap band okay like that and then you're using the same color, the first color again, looping through two bands, two bands, okay, and then you're picking up three bands. This is the signature um, new pickup border with the three bands, okay, right there, three bands. And we're flipping it over to the other side to do the other side. <laughs> now, be very careful because that third band is actually not sitting in properly okay so when you 
switch it over to the other side, make sure that band doesn't pop off. Now, we're gonna pick up our cap band and put that band back, the first band, and we're getting our second color and looping it through two bands. Okay, and we're gonna pick up our first band but not our cat band. Like that, putting it back and we're doing it again. First color, going through two bands and picking up three bands, three bands, okay? Your three bands will be alternated in color, like that. So if you actually pick up your border and the colors like that or switch the other way around and not alternate it you know you're getting it wrong okay now inside color the inside color is going into the four bands in the middle this is how I do it I, I usually take off bands instead of sliding them through so I see people um, sliding the band through and picking them off but I take my band off, hanging on to them and then sliding that through four bands in the middle like that okay four bands in the middle and I'm picking up the first band and the fourth bands and putting the blue band back on my hook and putting this three bands back on and while I'm putting this three bands back on I have to be careful the rest of them that doesn't go out of order okay they need to stay in that order like that now my outside band is black so I'm gonna get a white it's always the opposite color okay now I'm gonna pull this through four bands one two three four four bands and make sure our border doesn't switch over like that. We have to put our border back properly. Okay. Now, picking up the blue band. Okay, first band. And we're going to pick up our border. Two border bands. And the one we just looped on. So, border band. Three of them. Okay, now. Switching over, making sure it doesn't get out of the spot when you switch them over. Okay. It's gone a bit wacky here. There we go. Now our outside band is black so getting the opposite color looping it through four bands one two three four three of them is our border band just remember three is border band okay actually we're looping it through three bands that's right three of four bands we're looping it through four bands sorry four bands we're picking up our blue band the middle band and then we're picking up the border one two and we're putting that back so three three border bands okay so now this design look like this and we're grabbing a middle band now this time we're picking through, we're picking off four bands, hanging on to them, four bands, hooked on your blue or your middle colour, going through four bands in the middle, four bands in the middle, picking up the first one and the fourth one, first one and the fourth one, close and hook all those bands back, the four bands back like that okay 
So it's a very fiddly bracelet to make because of the border. But as soon as you get a hand, good hang of it, you can do it. You can do it. And I hope you have a two end and hook you poor thing. Or else it'll be too crazy. Yeah. Opposite colour from the border band. We are going to loop this through five bands. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five bands. We're picking up the first band closest to your hook and we're going to pick up our border whatever color you're hanging on to you're picking up the same color for the first one first second and then you put that third one back so you get that alternated color and you know you're doing it right okay now we're switching it over to the other side very careful band then switched over or else you would be very confused now outside bands white so we're getting a black now we're pulling pulling this through five bands one two three four five picking up the first one closest to your hook the middle band and we're picking up our border band again so I'm hanging on to the black so I'm picking up a black first and then the second color in the middle and then I put the black back very simple just like that okay now I am going to get my blue again to slide into the middle I'm taking off four bands and I'm sliding this through four bands in the middle and I'm picking up the first band and the fourth band and putting this back first band fourth band put the blue back and put those four bands on the side back just like that okay so the pattern itself is very simple and it has been done before but it's just the border that's tricky. I'm sounding a bit croaky now. Now, outside band is black, so I'm getting a white. And this time it's going through five bands again. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm picking up the first band. And this time I have a white that I'm hanging on, so I'm picking up a white border and a black border in that order so the, there we go our three border bands alternated switch over to the other side okay now you see that band got switched over when I turn my hook, not turn, yeah, I turn my hook to, okay, now move them back, pulling this five bands, pull through five bands, like that, picking up the first one, and picking up the two border bands, because I'm hanging on to white, I'll pick up the white first, and then black, and then white again okay now go back to the middle taking off four bands hanging on to them hooked on to your middle band pulling it through four bands picking up the first band the fourth band and close and putting those four bands back that you hang on to. There we go. Now our border is white. So we're getting a black and pulling it through five bands like that. Picking up the first band, blue, and our border. 
I'm hanging on to the black, so I'm picking up a black first, and white, and black. Switching it over. Border is white. I'm getting a black opposite colour, pulling it through five bands. Okay, five bands. Five bands. My camera is shaking. Five bands. Picking up the first colour, first band. Sorry, first band. And then putting the border back on. Since I'm hanging on to the black, I'll pick up the black first and then the white and the black. Just like that. And I'm inserting a new band in the middle. Picking off four bands off, pulling the blue through four bands and picking up the first band and the fourth band close and putting it back okay I think I've done it enough time now that to show you what it's gonna look like so hopefully you get the idea it's actually a very simple idea um, in design like most um, most of the first design that came out um, so this will be the first. I'm sure a lot of um, three bands border will come out soon. And there we go. And I have to say I am very happy that it actually turned out very nicely in opaque span. Okay, this design you can make in opaque span. It might be a bit tricky, you have to lay your band really flat, like when you're looping it, you make sure your bands are not twisted. And this is a very solid bracelet, very tight solid bracelet, and it'll um, be nice to wear for a guy or a girl. That's why it is called Buddy Bracelet. Make this for your friend, family, whoever you like, and happy looming. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing on my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support. I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, my clicker's not working.